Back on with the scan tools, uh, this one X431 interface. So why I will why I I promote this because many people using our scan tools they don't know inside features. So what's the in the inside features and uh, with the so on what you call uh, this one interface. Okay, so um, many people with our old old interface. They say uh, this is just a scanner uh, with the with the all the all the Vegas software. No, actually, on the left side there's a three three uh, three bar. You hit it. So many item in here. So what the what's the item in here? You can update. You can get information. This is the information the for the maintenance. Okay, so. Uh, many car of the maintenance also been here. Uh, we 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 look forward to upgrade more car in here. So actually, in the new interface, as you are using the in, in the in this one interface, what inside here? Why so many? Why we we do the new interface for the new unit? Because there is too much uh too much function in here. We need to add up. So in this uh, intelligent diagnosis, for intelligent diagnosis, once you hit the intelligent diagnosis, it will take the win number. Okay. So just like you, as you see, this one it connect with the VCI connector as a Bluetooth connector, and it will take the vehicle win number to check online. So this, with this uh, function, your scanner must be in the with in the Wi-Fi online. So they will check, and it will show up what is a model is for this car. So very easy for your customer to recognize that car because so many people are just like BMW, Mercedes. There is a, a dozen model inside there but if you are using the wind and it will show very easy so for local diagnosis just like just just like traditional you you go inside the vega and then you check the vega and then it also will come out with the wind number it will it will automatically detect it okay so in in and what what system you need to do you just hit on it so this is a uh, uh, inside local diagnosis what is begin inside here there is a health report as the health report they uh, for just like example this mercedes band this mercedes band maybe there's a uh, over uh, so many so many system inside there but if you click on one by one, you will become used really, really long time to, to do the diagnosis. But if the if you if your customer using this health report, actually it will become faster. One shot it will come out all the trouble code. So that's why that means you can see it one by one and figure out what's the problem actually for the car. So not suppose that car come up with one trouble code because there is many okay some of the engine code maybe the the other system we come out the other system they said that they said that ecm is problem and so on so on so next okay so if you are using uh, the lo local diagnosis also, so what is the actually the in the lower lower bar there, you will see vehicle coverage. What's the new and introduction? Okay, so may, so many people don't uh, don't see this because if, if you are uh, many many customers ask the did uh, this soft this software include this car this car and is and uh, this this function or not so this 
actually this vehicle coverage you will help you a lot so you your customer no need to and call you anytime they get you, you you teach them and they can search it here so uh what for the watch function and the uh, next system was the actual test inside or inside the vehicle coverage okay so the model inside here also help you a lot you no need to uh part by part or phone by phone to answer them the the answer okay so also with this uh trouble code for the trouble code also you have the code search on this here so in this code search it's not just a trouble code also it you hit the code search it will automatic bring you to the google search this google search help your customer a lot you can it have an image it have the uh, website that they you can he can you can help help your customer so not suppose he uh, once he he see the trouble code he directly call you so so maybe he will try to serve something inside the website before they call you so also with the picture okay so after the in the inside the 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 interface also have software update in the software update so inside here your customer actually can update but by, by themselves okay so in the software what you need to focus on is uh, someone interrupt me uh, the screen now what happened okay so uh so in 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 this uh, update system here is something i want to say is uh if your customer see the update firmware update app app update you must do this all this kind of update before the vehicle model so actually this is a application uh, application for for your tablet and the firmware upgrade firmware upgrade before the vehicle model so that's why uh, the 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 software you run is smooth so maybe some of people on, only see this vehicle up uh, audi update and then oh he update but he left this firmware update so that's why the software will become error okay make sure you update okay okay so in in this diagnosis history what's the purpose for for our engineering do this some of the people they they are their workshop very big so there is uh, maybe maybe 10 or 20 car per, per day they they diagnosis so in this here so if you are you having the diagnosis history so the next day uh, refer for that car mechanic still can using the diagnosis history to check to check this uh, what's the what's the problem with the last uh, with, with, with the, this car trouble code maybe there's uh, people one like very like to uh, clear trouble code once they clear the next a person who check this car they totally don't know what she do what is about with the car so with the diagnosis history once you click you can see through this this uh this hold on uh, it will uh it will show you the diagnosis trouble code for the for you okay so this uh this is the next for the my report so on you can you you have the report okay so you have the report on the on the vega so if you are facing a problem
Sorry about that. Okay. So if if you are checking the trouble code, then you you can save a report for for the for your company, just like an insurance company. They need the detail for that car. So in this inspection report, you after you print it or you can share directly with your in your if your with your Gmail. Okay. So just like this. Okay, so inside diagnosis function, uh, okay, inside diagnosis function, there is the data for you, for you to check. Actually, okay, actually this is the uh, diagnosis data for them to check uh, one by one in detail. Actually, detail just like a graph, some of the O2 sensor, maybe you can, you, you need to check with the graph. So that's one you, you can uh, use, use the graph for it. Okay. Okay, so on in, in here, I want to show the uh, special uh, that maybe you, you not using it, but it have inside your, your diagnosis, uh, your, 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 your diagnosis in here so you can see it there is a compare sample here so in the compare sample okay so for the for the compare sample once every not every car you 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 recognize it and you know the the graph for this Actually, this you can compare with good car and the bad and the bad car problem car. So in in here, so you can once you check with the new with the the with the problem car, you hit the compare sample, and then you save this sample, and then sure you can compare with the same car, but is okay the the car is okay not any joking not any problem so in this compare actually very easy for a mechanic to find out what's the problem okay so because some of the problem that it won't show up with the ddc with a trouble code but if the the trouble code no trouble code how you want to check so in here compare uh, data com uh, this data compare very easy the the mechanic can can directly check it what's the problem oh. okay so the next okay inside there is a still have a reset in the reset there is a, a brake reset or reset and standard angle sensor reset battery reset so actually this one if your customer is just like using the bmw you want to oil reset for it there is uh, you if you you go in the bmw maybe you need to use around 10 minutes 15 minutes to to search it where is the function but if for the reset area you just hit it inside the reset you hit it oil reset you will uh, it will it will guide you until the function. You won't show up any any other function. So this is very good for uh, for a person who who not familiar with the with that system. So he he can it, it also won't touch any other thing. Just like sample, my uh, one of the customer he just want to oil reset, but he go inside BMW. He do, he don't know. Uh, English, then he, he pressed it, pressed there until the vehicle cannot start. But once I recognize, recognize the, uh, once I introduced this reset function for him, he directly uh, already set for the car in just a five minute. Uh, very good function for this. So make sure you introduce this function for your customer. Okay, and here, Maintenance. This is very, uh, very good for your, for your, for your customer. In maintenance, 
wants to actually show you actually in the maintenance you don't uh, don't don't be shy to touch this maintenance this maintenance all is about information so in the in the maintenance stage uh, operating skill ddc help automatic te technology handbook and repair case actually this what they want to what the engineering want to show you is how to operate the special function so this is a very good idea for your customer because many many people don't know inside this maintenance there is a there, there is a, 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 a function there is a information in here oh, okay if you are you if you you if, you can recommend them if they they are very free on the workshop they can keep in the maintenance to read it out read all the function inside here before the car get problem once the car get problem go into the workshop then you will remind uh, you, you your reminder will come out and you you can directly go to a maintenance and can read again what's the problem and what you want to do okay so just like this one information one <clears throat> what's the problem and what's the ddc axis okay some of the uh, control module that you uh, inside is also we show you what the pro, uh, what's the module where where is the module and the, where is the item okay so and the headlamp many many people don't know what's the what's the uh, what's the shape of the, of the control module and then they order uh, the different part and the headlamp maybe come with the wrong part okay so this is uh, <coughs> for for you to see okay so with the uh, feedback function actually this feedback uh, is help a lot for engineering to change the uh, what's the problem because uh, in the function maybe uh, not inside there's a way, many kind of car inside but we cannot try one by one and the, all the system inside there so if you are facing any problem with that uh, that software you can directly do a, make a feedback report for for engineering so that's why uh, once you do the report engineering can directly check what uh, what do you do you uh, enter maybe you have entered a wrong uh, wrong 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 place and uh, maybe you enter a wrong uh, code inside there so if the feedback you send under uh, engineering can check it directly and don't forget after you send the feedback you just just like you, you fill up the form so inside one by one in here actually is uh, showing what you hit what what you touch touch before so and then once you once you want to send you can still add on with the image so after you send send out the feedback don't forget to capture this screen this screen is very important for for just like for lucky for, to service you um because this 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 log uh for for them for for us to easy to track back what what's the problem with this so after uh engineering check this problem you feedback feedback to you in in uh in the uh feedback in the feedback area okay so other module this is the uh, uh, feedback uh, it, it is in this other module because when you are using the petri you cannot go back to the android to the android page anymore so that's why all of the function just like team viewer uh, and the browser all inside the other other module so uh, your customer if you want to you want to check the Gary email or browser and 
recording master still you can use it in here so if the for for the remote diagnosis for the remote diagnosis uh, uh maybe before uh, you guys already use this function before with the if the scanner control with the scanner okay so um there is a new item with the with this website maybe you don't know so you can using the pc log in log in this website this website uh, remote uh, dot x 431com to diagnosis your your customer so if you're using your but but you have a you need to be a user uh, launch user so you you use your uh, username password log in this website and do the uh, remote diagnose for your customer so this is a uh, very good without using team viewer team viewer sometimes you, you need to uh if someone say uh can cannot hear now my sound is okay okay so uh, this is a remote diagnosis for for you if the pc you you no need to uh you need no no need use team viewer anymore you with this website you you can easily go through internet to remote diagnosis your your customer so actually uh, actually there's a i i want to show you you guys a uh, sample of the trouble code so um sample of the trouble code because uh, i did use some a lot of time video or is still okay i will go on okay so um example for the ddc okay so uh, for example one this are operate operation for for your customer to to check the trouble code but some of the, the uh, some of your customer may complaining why uh, why the trouble code cannot be clear so in in here uh, i want i want to show you just uh, not every trouble code you can clear with the current you see there is a current p0340 there is a current uh, code for this if your history code you can clear it uh, easy but if the current code you may not because there is a current problem with it so uh, i will i will i will i will recommend recognize uh, this work this uh, website for for your customer actually this website is still have chinese version and uh, all many language inside that uh, you, you choose uh, what you want so inside here maybe you can you you can uh, tell them that you can search it here but if you search it here uh, you you will see like this okay so what's uh, what you want to focus on actually this workshop uh, th this website can teach your customer okay what's this customer uh, what's this uh, trouble code meaning so that's why they no need to interrupt you uh, every uh, every time so they they won't directly call you and uh, what's this, this problem and then uh, before they call you they they can around around uh, already know what this is about so actually uh, this very good website and other website there is many more website that talk about trouble code and help uh, help for us to diagnosis okay so i want uh, i will i will show this video because this is a video for the operation of the xc1 pro okay so this is a pro operation
Okay, so I will share with this video. Okay, so um, this video is uh, actually this car is cannot be start because the, there is some of the problem it cannot start but uh, this engine fail cannot start okay after that use uh, x431 So uh, to set up this X1 Pro, actually very easy. You just use the uh, the connector. This long cable. Don't forget to 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 tell your customer. You must use this cable to avoid your your connector uh, loosen your connector. So many people use this uh, connector. We forgot this connector inside the car and. And the, then the car gone, and the, and its connector also gone. So just plug in the connector inside. Okay, now start with the diagnosis. You we'll, uh, so you uh, just hit it. What's the motor inside here? So and check it, uh, the health report. So this is the operation for the health report. So it will come out the uh, trouble trouble system only. So once you get the trouble code, try to check out what the what uh, the the sensor location. Not suppose that the trouble code. Clear trouble code not supposed on it. Okay. Once you see the the sensor, and it found the defect, so the wiring are really broken. So and after you fix it. So this is how, how I fix the wiring. It's not too it's not it's not too tidy, uh, but it's still connect. Okay, after connection, so uh you still can check uh with the trouble code and you you, you clear the trouble code. Once the code, trouble code can clear, double check, make sure double check with the read trouble code. So make sure it's no trouble code. And then you started the car and test this. You see the car already start, problem already solved. So what I want to show you guys is uh, not suppose the trouble could come out. It only you 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 only clear it, but also you need to be. Uh, double check with the the problem. Okay. So on the on the second example, I want to show you is an actuator test. Just now is a trouble code. Now is an actuator test. So actuator test, I will show you this uh, video because most of the people they don't know how to use this attractor test. So you see there is a few few splashing. So in in here actually attractor test there is a function of the fuel pump off. For the latest car uh, model, there is a fuel pump with a high pressure fuel pump. So, with the with this uh, this function to off the high pressure fuel pump before you change the the filter. 
Oh, just like an aircon, uh, uh, the, the fuel hose, you want to attach it, it will splash around. Uh, but if you using this function, it won't splash and it won't, it, it will become safety to change the hose on, or, or the fuel pump. So, so you, uh, you go in, you, when you operate the uh, actuator test, it will, it will low down the pressure and the engine still going. So after the engine not enough for the fuel pressure, it will automatic stop, stop the uh, automatic stop the engine. So after that, after low down the pressure, you you can start open up all the fuel fuel component, just like a fuel fuel pump. You want to open a fuel pump, fuel hose and so on all the fuel high pressure fuel fuel holes okay so this is the uh, the result without you activate the actuator test it will become splashed around the 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 fuel pump and it will become very very dangerous So the, this is a uh, this is a operation to check to change the fuel filter without splashing any leaks. Okay, after that install back and it become. So let's continue, continue our presentation. Okay. Okay, so in this example three, I want to show you the special function for for some for some way, for some car. Okay, so the in in here special function actually uh, many people using the special function, but they uh, they they won't they won't see they they don't don't care about the DDC before before they do special function. Just like uh, be pre the previous customer, they, they want to do some of special function, but there is a no trouble code there. So they just operate it uh, without any any problem. So the may may it might be cannot uh, it might be cannot function because if the car is normal, no problem, but you 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 do the do the programming you will maybe die you will damage the the car so in here this uh, number three example you see the trouble code in here all trouble code is the permanent communication 40 this is the communication problem not the open not uh, not the open circuit but beside of that you will see the electrical column and just the last is it show you circuit to positive or open circuit this is a problem what's the problem with uh, with this this bmw so so actually this bmw is problem with uh, this steering column but it say adjustment but it, after adjust it still cannot done so um there is a uh, uh, your customer also need to know what's the, the driver complaining. Driver sometimes they complaining different of that car. Maybe the the car have communication error, but they complain the uh, the the system is not working. Other system is not not working. So may you need to uh, your your customer also need to find out the driver what they complain. So that you do, won't uh, misunderstand with the car. So mechanic test, sure you need to test after you, you listen to the driver complaining. So this is the third, uh, third special function. I will show you uh, how we do this special function. Okay, let me play the video. Special function.
Okay, in this special function, uh, we do we are doing the the cooling for this uh, this BMW using the pet tree. Uh, Show this because uh, the operation of the pet tree. So this one uh, problem is the cooling with the uh, column switch. So once we do the, uh, once we enter, uh, we, uh, once we change the module, we must we must do cooling. So Inside the automatic search, you can check the DDC first. Every time we do coding or programming, we check the trouble code before we do it. So this is the uh, I, I, identification number for the car. So this is a health report function. Uh, Okay, after that, make sure health report is uh, some of the code. So if, if one of the problem, fun problem system, it will generate so many problems with the, uh, so many different problems, say is no, no unit, uh, open circuit, uh, but is see, there's the only one open circuit. It will create all the system is say this function is this uh, system is not functioning so make sure it's a trouble code after that uh add, after that we, we we do this we find out the problem uh, with the column switch after change it is to do the coding okay so this is the coding function So you still can uh, go for the list to check what the what's the list inside that we can do the coding inside here there is a many system uh, active steering others uh, electronic power steering also you can do the coding so this coding you, you can hit it coding Use the latest latest num coding number because we don't know. Uh, we we still don't know the car is uh, which batch of that uh, of this coding. So we hit the the latest one. So after code, double check with the trouble code. So we after code after code you you will. You guide to check the trouble code. Okay. After you code the module, there is uh, others, uh, uh, other transmission, just as transmission, active steering. They still have uh, the same code, but you need to delete it all because uh, the you already solved this uh, column switch. So this is a problem. Uh, this is a all the trouble code. You hit it clear DGC on the bottom there. If you one click delete all the trouble code. Let's say they, they will uh, notice for this. You need to test drive or anything else. So make sure DDC all clear. If the system all normal, it, it will become all, uh, normal. Yes, there is no trouble code after done, done, job done. Okay, get back to our slide. Okay, this is the third set example for the special function. Um, for this, uh, hope you guys uh, uh, take take note about this 
so all the special all the special function uh, for the for the vehicle you need to uh, make sure is you 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 concentrate on the notice many notice uh, it will show you what want to uh, off the key on the key make sure you you uh, you follow it otherwise you can you will feel on the on the special function okay so other than that there is a, a still some kind of special function i want to show it in here just like nissan throttle body many people man, many customer complain about this nissan throttle body but for for myself i did i already uh, already do it do the throttle body learning many times uh, even for my own car my uh, my friend's car or oh, i take this uh, for for this many people will ignore uh, will ignore this note okay this note is very important because why you see what's the what's the what's the progress they need coolant temperature says uh, 70 to 90 degree this is very important uh, for for that for the nissan to do the this one either a volume learning this is learning tr uh, the throttle body even i i use uh, nissan original scantus before there is a same note in here but uh, the oem person will will very take care of it but in outside the workshop they they always ignore ex, ignore this notice uh, then after that they complaining about uh, cannot do uh, uh, the 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 total body learning so that's why uh, i need to mention in here but before that before that okay there is a need to do one 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 special function okay it's self-learning self-learning very important before you do the uh, total body learning so this is a uh, this is to clear the air flow mixture so the air flow mixture make sure is uh, is fixing is 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 okay then you do the either air volume learning so the car will be it will be done okay so make sure this temperature is in this range if because some in in uh, i don't know why in nissan vega the heat very fast come out once they they uh, they already clean the total body once they start the engine not within a uh, five minute the temperature will heat up until 90 degree very fast but uh, before you want to start the engine make sure you keep on and uh, enter and use the scan tools enter until you see the not in this notice then you start engine once you start engine hit on the okay again so the special function the screen will become like this and you hit the start it will not you uh not you tell you about five minutes to this to do this action but actually if uh if the car is normal is using one or two minutes to do the learning if in more than five minutes it will become uh overheat so overheat for for this function not overheat for the car it's over 90 degree in and this function will become fail so uh, and then once it complete it will show up complete if no complete it, 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 you need to wait for five minutes and then after it fail you need to cool down the engine until uh, the cool down the engine current temperature until 70 and then you start the we use this function again so this is a tips for the for the customer so um 
you need to you need to uh, uh, alert with the temperature. Okay. <clears throat> so and another tips is the is the some of uh, car I don't know why uh, they still cannot complete with the with, with this either because what was the problem actually is here the engine speed is over than 1200 okay this is a this is a problem also if this nissan you over the temp you over the engine speed for the uh, 1200 you can also cannot success in this special function what you want to do is engage a gear and then and this in, engage uh, either one gear maybe drive or reverse to 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 low down the the rpm so after you low down the rpm you hit it okay within one uh one two minute if you're done i try many many times already oh, so this uh this nissan you have to be careful for that uh for that uh total body learning okay so in this uh Toyota CVT oil pressure also many people complaining about this problem can cannot do this uh learning okay but they they uh they they, they didn't do the reset memory because okay because you 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 not they they ignore the the notice once you you hit once you hit on cvt oil pressure you 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 will notice you need to do a reset memory otherwise you we can't fail so many people ignore this function so you need to be you need, you need to do reset memory first and then after you do a reset memory there's an instruction for this you need to off and on again okay so make sure the the car is uh, the pro the progress is past this re memory reset and then only you can do cvt oil pressure calibration so cvt oil calibration also there is a key on here you need to off the ignition for 30 seconds okay so off the ignition 30 seconds and then on again uh, wait for at least two two seconds and start the vehicle okay within five seconds so this is a this is a notice inside the inside this Toyota this Toyota is the alpha Toyota alpha, uh, alpha wheel fire is uh, using the same system in here every time you change the CET oil this uh, this system uh, this function must be performed okay so in in the case three uh, there's a uh, two more two two more case only uh. okay so in this Honda steering angle sensors so on also there's a there's a notice for the for this you need to be level what the meaning of to be level leave level this mean you have to be at a flat place okay some of the car is back parking straight on uh, on the on the stand engine uh, on the vehicle stand you it, like this degree and they do this function is totally fail it will maybe it will success but after you drop it you test the car it will fail because this this sensor is using all sensor adjustment it will calibrate standing angle and the g sensor g sensor is the most important thing for the uh, for the uh, this uh, e vsa system the abs system okay so this is the key point in here steering should be ahead it's okay if you are on the negative two uh, around uh, tolerance is five uh. so in in this uh, this function most important is vehicle must be level on the flat flat road okay okay 
this is the last rd guide function so i want to i will show this guide function for you okay in the video by the video okay i play the video first okay Okay, so this is the guide function, but in only for the pet three pro three, but the pro is no don't have this guide function. This guide function for Audi, Volkswagen, Skoda, and uh, and a seat. So after you see the trouble code, uh, they. So uh, if you are engaged with the Audi system. It come out a guide function. Do you mention it when you are using with Audi? So the guide function will guide you. You choose what's the car model. So inside here, they can they will guide you one by one system. Steering angle. If you want to do this function, okay. Now is it already uh, in the guide function so it will uh, do one by one sometimes you don't know what what you want to do before the standing angle sensor but if you engage the standing angle sensor but it fail so you need to reset other module first so this is uh, this is the one they need to check the column columns uh, column module make sure it it is is uh this is a uh, operating correctly not not the uh, not have uh, any trouble code in this control module and then it, you start the calibration this is the one by one system for for your customer very easy to do uh, because most of uh, people uh, after they do the calibration they cannot and then blame our scan uh, uh, can uh, cannot do something steering angle sensor but in in the true is there is a something problem in the in other system that they they not notice uh. so in this function it also guide you to to turn your steering wheel so keep on uh, do what he he told you and you align the steering wheel on a straight ahead okay this will you show you the steering angle so the measurement so perform the calibration this system will make sure the car uh, the car is every system is is not interrupting this calibration so this is uh, done for a uh, for standard angle so it will guide you also you need to restart uh, you off off the engine restart the control module and then once it's done you check you can check again with the trouble code make sure it's uh, no more trouble code okay it come out with trouble code again try to clear it okay some of the uh, there is a uh, not uh, uh stand angle and last you still need to this do this this step engage the gear press the brake turn until the end so the steering will active again okay 
Okay, the, 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 actually the, the meter will come out with sound. Once it's sound, tongue, and then go back to normal. Okay, the, then it will done. So this is the progress for a special uh, special guide guide uh, guide system. Okay, this guide system actually the uh, help many people to do uh, do do the function. So this one, uh, it only uh, available in Pro three and above. Sorry for the pro. Then that's why this is a key key point you need to uh, show to your customer if they need the special uh, the special just like this guide function. Maybe they choose pet three better or pro three. Okay. Okay. So uh, that's this is our uh, this is the 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 as uh, this is the training. So um, let me okay, I you all. Okay, so if you have uh, some or uh, some of the uh, question you still can drop me a email or or you can contact to lucky 